Hello out there, Internet Horde. Zombie Phil here, back with another episode of Seven Days in my Nerd Rage Challenge. Got my steel knuckles, and as you can see, I've done a bit of work up here. Um, I'm preparing up there for the uh, Jew Collectors that I'll be running, and I've got an area below here, down here, that I'll be using. I want to knock out most of this down here and have my crafting stuff down in this area down here, so... <laughs> That's what I've got planned. I'm not going to make that jump because I will totally mess that up and end up with a broken leg. Uh, now, I would normally go and do quests, um, especially since this trader I will want to... What have we got over here? Um, I'll want to get them leveled up ASAP, but first things first, there's two cracker books here that I want to uh, go and raid. And my dump box is just here for the moment. Let's get those going. Um, now, I am out of wood, so I will need to fix that if I'm going to continue building. Um, got some trees over here, but as I said, um, I want to kind of do the... Uh, get the uh, cracker books going. I'll just dump the rest of the stuff in my bike for now. Uh, what am I locking in? Don't need that right now. Actually, I'll just throw that away. Don't really need the paper or the sand. I live in a desert after all. The rest of that stuff can just go away. I'll keep that bandage on me. As a matter of fact, actually, I need actual bandages. I'll take some first aid kits, some of those. Um, I'll put that in the bike. I'll drop my nail gun off here for the moment and take some bandages. Don't really need. Oh, no, I'll take those with just in case I get a bit beat up. Okay, so first place I want to head to is right here. Let's get going. Okay, this isn't a quest, so I don't need to worry about... Uh, I'll take the painkillers as well. What's that? Five? There we go. Okay. Okay, wakey wakey everyone. Come on. Yeah, just come. Salute her purse while I'm here. Three lockpicks, that's pretty nice. We've got somebody from outside. I'll worry about the books after I've uh, killed everyone. going, keep going. Actually somebody right here. Blood barrels. Anybody else in here? No. As I said, I'll loot once I get to the end. Okay, I should stop running everywhere. There's sometimes somebody in here. No, not this time. Just gonna loot that because I probably won't be back up onto the roof. Now. Okay, just going down. Ah! 
Come on, stamina. No, that was half the loot. Oh, okay. Good thing I brought the painkillers with me. And that. I should have regained more stamina. Good thing the loot here isn't really what you're after anyway. Okay, he's down. Yeah, I lost a couple of Cracker Book boxes. Let's get into these. I wasn't expecting there to be two cops. That's a little crazy. on the other side of the wall. Um, that was pretty nice. I will need some fluids though. Oh, four skill points. I definitely need to use those. I will just chow down on the beef ration for now. Was purple and black dye. Good colours. Uh, pretty sure I've got the helmet mod that allows me to drink murky water. I should probably just check that. And the answer is yes I do. So I'll just drink both of those. All three of those. Coffee for me? No, just more murky water that I'll drink. I don't care too much about the trash. Going for the books now. Sounds like we've got somebody out here still. He shouldn't be too much of a problem. in here for the secret one. Hidden stash. More forge books. That's fine. Okay, that's the entire crook, crook, crack a book. Gosh, I can't speak today. Um, cleared. I still got a little bit of adrenaline from facing off the two cops. Um, I will... Grab one of my honeys. Okay, and now just to light my load, I'm going to read all of this. Um, hey, there we go. That was a lot of uh, forging books that I just read. Um, black and purple dyes. Got these cooking books. Okay, that's that one clear. Let's go and hit up the other one. Hopefully it doesn't have two cops in it. Now just because I like to be able to run out of this building nice and quick, I'm going to... Clear out this car that's just here. Rabbit just breaks something inside the shop. That's hilarious. 
Um, got my five locked in, so I'll just drop the rest of that away. Actually, I'll keep that on me just in case. Drop that away. Okay, now, if I remember correctly, there usually is... No. Somebody just over here. Zombies. I was going to say they must have actually lost me. I'm going to loot these loose books just because I don't want anything to get broken if the zombies come stumbling out and decide to start swinging. That's most of the loose stuff gone. Just you, Arlene? Who we got up there? Okay, that looks like the hazmat zombie is down. Oop, more loose books here. Now, from memory, there's usually somebody hiding in the cupboard here. Useless ammo. That's somebody outside. I'll let them uh, worry about how they get in here. Should probably be drinking the toilet water if I get any. Just because I am still thirsty. Oh, vending machines. Neither of them are uh, working. Nothing in the coffee. Hot. It's usually a couple of zombies in here. Oh, a button that lets you out into the front now. That's pretty cool. Okay, they're down. Quickly just get this little room out of the way. safe here. Just some stuff I can sell. Definitely got uh, quite a few zombies wandering around. That might be a uh, wandering horde. Cheeky bloody bird. Yeah, that's where those two zombies come from. Good to see this place hasn't changed much. Which means there is probably a doggo right in that door. And there he goes. I'll eat that. They give me water as well, so I'll definitely eat those. 
bug with nothing in it, and I'll start looting this place. Come on, Dean. There you go. Right, continuing to loot. Maybe not. I'll drop some stuff off into my bike first. Let's see what I can get. Uh, now, did that actually pop into a backpack? It did. Okay, we'll just uh, take out uh, Karen there and uh, have a look at the spoils from the uh, second Cracker book. I'll just go through these again. Wow, that's uh, quite a stash. Anybody that says the Cracker Books aren't worth it are uh, definitely uh, kidding themselves now. I'm probably going to have spam down here for quite a while as it's still trying to sort everything out. Uh, let's have a look what we got though. Knuckles. I can now make quality three and I am nine books away from the quality fours. I'll probably make a pair of quality threes if I can. Um, harvesting tools. Uh, sorry, repairing tools. I'm up to a tier 3 nail gun. I think I've got better though, or at least a tier 1, which doesn't really matter what you have. I'm only up to tier 2 iron, so I'm still but, uh, not as good as what I've bought. And what else have we got here that I care about? Explosives. Uh, I can make grenades and uh, pipe bombs, but I'm not near uh, dynamite or the contact grenades that must be. Armor. I can only make tier 1 uh, iron or leather, so I don't think that'll be terribly worth it. I'll have a look at it regardless. Uh, medicines, I'm a couple off making recog. Oh no, I think that's... Yeah, yeah, sorry, I'm at tier 1, I'm a couple off making tier 2. Uh, foods, I'm 5 books off completely maxing out the food tree, which is pretty cool. Seeds is done. Electrician, I can make a generator, which is pretty nice. Traps, I'm still one off being able to make the electric fence dart posts. Uh, sorry, electric fence posts, darts, and blade traps. Workstations, I'm now two off being able to just make my own crucibles. And I am, what's that? Ooh, uh, eight. 13 off being able to make the motorcycle, so hopefully I can find some passing gases and stuff to get those books going. Um, I did also have the skill points, um, and I want to max out this as much as I possibly can, so I'll probably just hold on to this one to get to the three points for this. Um, I'm going to keep the nerdy goggles on just to keep this up for the time being. Uh, now it is 2 o'clock and I do need to harvest uh, quite a few trees, so I'll hit up what I can.
I was going to do it, I guess I'd do it up there. It's not too bad, I can put the ladder right up the side here. Uh, let's get some frames on the craft. Um, about 150, I think. And let's just get them into the ladders that I want. Ah, oh, are you kidding me? That's a half block and that's the full block? Ugh, okay, maybe not. Hmm, now is this... Uh, that is only cobble, but I was hoping for something where I didn't have to modify too much of it. Um, let's have another look around. I don't really want to use my base for the horde base, if I can help it. In the end, I might just end up using my base. Um, because I should just be able to go straight up from the stairs here. Ah, uh, you're gonna tell me that's a half block as well. No, that's a full block, so that's a half block up there. That's half of you. Ah, uh, full concrete. Of course you are. Ah, finally, Bob Rowling number seven, the best book in the series. And the final one of the series that I needed. Didn't even notice that I'd picked that up. Okay, well, if that's the case, then I guess I'm just going to build my base here. Similar to the last one. Um, I actually liked the way that the... Um, oh, actually, no, I want to have a way... Do I want to... I think I'm going to actually build it out one from the thing because that way I can have a really long staircase here for the dogs um, to get their way up to me. Um, and that way I can have the sledge turret down there, punching zombies off down that way. Yeah, this should work. Um, I'll spend some time, more time on this overnight and uh, whatnot. Uh, I don't want to break that one down. And I'll um, clean up some of this base area, actually, just so it looks a bit more respectable, like somebody actually lives here. And, uh, yeah, I'll call this one a little bit early today. It's been a bit of fun. Oops, that was the wrong block I was breaking down. Um, I also have to get some storage built in. Um, hmm, it's actually a lot higher up. What I might do is I might actually just clear out the top of the elevator and build my floor in here. That way I can have, like, closer... Um, up to here rather than going all the way down. I might even just do it on this level rather than going all the way up. That way I can also put my storages in along there. And uh, yeah, so that should be good. Anyway, I'll get up here because the sunset here is actually rather pleasant when you look out. Oh, I'll just give you a quick little uh, run down here too. I made this into a little uh, room just so I can put my bed and my cooking pot up here. I put my cooking pot on top of the land claim block. Um, I will probably upgrade just the ones around it to be cobble, so it looks like a little fire pit. Um, I've got out here that I'm going to have a balcony. Got out here that I'll have a balcony that'll have these two ladders, one that goes the rest of the way up and down to my workshop, and this one that goes all the way to the ground floor. Um, but yeah, so remember if you're enjoying what you're seeing, hit a like on the video, and if you want to come back and see more, remember to subscribe to my channel and come and get your zombie fill. And I'll catch you in the next episode. Till then, bye.